Hello students, this is Indrani ma'am from Sir Prasayan. In this lecture, I am going to explain some important questions on Wood's reaction. Before starting, I am going to discuss some important point on Wood's reaction. It is method for preparation of hydrocarbons. In this method, alkyl halide on treatment with sodium metal in dry ether. What is dry ether? Dry ether means moisture free ether. Solution gives higher alkene. Suppose this is your alkyl halide. You have to treat it with sodium metal. Two moles of alkyl halide will react in dry ether. Removal of NaX takes place. You will get RR. Carbon carbon bond formation is taking place here and this NaX. So here how many moles? Two moles of alkyl halides are reacting and this is carbon carbon bond formation reaction. Now we should know in Wood's reaction why you have to use dry ether. Dry ether means moisture free ether. Why you have to use this one? Now see sodium we are using in the reaction. If water is present we will get sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. Now when alkyl halide, suppose methyl iodide we are using, it will react with sodium hydroxide. Nucleophilic substitution reaction takes place and we will get alcohol plus NaI. So here we should use dry ether. So we have seen by this method we will get higher alkene. Therefore methane can't be prepared by this method. Wood's reaction can be explained by ionic mechanism. Or by free radical mechanism. One by one we will see. So for the ionic mechanism two sodium atoms each will liberate one one electron to form two Na plus and two electron. Now due to electronegativity difference between R and X, this is having partial positive charge and X minus is having partial negative charge. Now what will happen? This bond will break and these two electrons will go there. If two electron will go there, this carbon will become negatively charged carbon ion we are getting and x minus now unreacted rx in unreacted rx this bond will clip and this r minus will attack to form carbon carbon bond means we will get alkane by removal of x minus then this two x minus will react with this two na plus to form NaX. So by this reaction we are getting higher alkane. Therefore methane formation is not possible here. For free radical mechanism first this bond will clip in this direction because the halides are more electronegative than carbon and this electron will attack there. Since one electron is going there we are getting R dot and from here X minus. Now what will happen this Na plus and X minus will combine to form NaX. And remember number of products depend on probability of free radical formation. Two different alkyl halides give all possible alkane. But the separation of mixture is not easy because their boiling points are very close to each other. So this method is not suitable for the formation of alkane having odd number carbon because formation of alkane having odd number needs two different halides. With example we will do that. So this is good method for the preparation of symmetrical alkane and for unsymmetrical alkane it is not good method because it will be difficult to separate the mixture of alkanes. First problem methyl chloride or chloromethane 
by the treatment with sodium metal in dry ether what is the product so this is woods reaction mechanism i am not showing here methyl radical will generate two methyl radicals will combine to form ethane this is ethane mechanism i have discussed already so as i mentioned already methane can't be prepared by this method because when two methyl radical will combine it will form ethane and always we will get higher homolog when iodoethane is treated with sodium metal in dry ether two moles of iodoethane will react removal of nai takes place and we will get ch3 ch2 ch2 ch3 normal butane plus 2 nai so this is normal butane so reaction takes place via ch3 ch2 dot this free radical and always remember free radicals also undergo disproportionation reaction what is it so here one radical will lose h dot and another radical will accept that h dot and here we will get ch2 double bond ch2 and after accepting the this h dot we will get c2h6 so this is ethylene and this is ethane so this explains the presence of ethylene and ethane in the butane obtained by woods reaction this is very important part this is tertiary butyl bromide so when you will treat tertiary butyl bromide in presence of sodium in dry ether what is the product note down this reaction generally fails with tertiary alkyl halide so with tertiary alkyl halide there is no woods reaction because during reaction you will get this tertiary butyl radical which is stable so when two tertiary butyl radical will combine to give the wood product there will be high steric crowding due to this steric crowding this reaction will not take place what happens it prefers elimination reaction so this ch dot and this dot will form isobutylene by elimination reaction elimination of hbr gives isobutylene but here we will not get woods reaction here what is the product this is isopropyl chloride so isopropyl chloride gives this radical and combination of two such radical will give this compound ch3 ch ch3 here ch ch3 ch3 so what we are getting we are getting 2 3 dimethyl butane next here two different alkyl halides are given so first write down all possible free radical from here you will get methyl radical from here you will get ethyl radical combination of these two methyl radicals will give ethane combination of these two ethyl radicals give
gives this one n butane and when this two will combine we will get propane so here number of products are three the separation of this mixture is not easy because the boiling points are very close to each other that's why as i told you this is not a suitable method for the formation of alkene having odd number of atoms because only to generate ethene you can select methyl chloride but to generate propane you have to select dip two different alkyl halide and you will get a mixture and it's very difficult to separate the product so yield of the product will be hampered now if you take this three alkyl halide in presence of sodium metal dry ether how many products are possible this is not a good method but how many products are possible so first write down all possible free radicals this is one free radical so here i am giving number a this is another free radical i am giving number b and from here we will get this free radical propyl free radical number c so combination of two methyl free radicals two methyl free radicals will give ethene combination of two ethyl free radicals will give n butane combination of two propyl free radicals gives ch3 ch2 ch2 then ch2 ch2 ch3 n hexane this is n hexane so these three products we are getting then combination of these two free radicals gives propane this is number 4 combination of b and c gives ch3 ch2 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 ch3 this is n pentane and if you combine a and c we will get n butane that one already we did so total how many 3 Four, five total, five compounds. We five alkene we will get. Here, how many products we will get by Wood's reaction? You have to do it. This is your homework in this video till this. If you like, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.